Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a plan with me in my Erin Condren hourly and I'm using a few sheets from the kit or collection called Peach Petal. As you know, in case you didn't, um, each collection has several sheets in it. You can pick and choose which ones you want. Um, there'll be two different types of date covers. This one is the date strips so you can use them in the hourly but we do offer them as singles. Um, in regards to the full boxes we offer them as um, like regular vertical size full boxes and the shorter ones um, that fit like the B6 and hour, or B6 and horizontal and I think they look pretty nice in the hourly if you don't want to use up too much space. Um, and again, the kits in the shop could be um, built yourself, meaning you can pick and choose what sheets you want. But on the weekend, their first release, there is a mini kit option, which is like more discounted. So if you're interested in picking anything up, I do recommend checking um, our shop Saturday mornings at around 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Every other week we do have a release of some kits and then some um, functional items, things like that. Um, the next week or so we're going to be focusing on more scripts and things like that since I had a lot of requests and more functional items too. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, um, so right now um, I put down the date strip, um, the date dots which are sold separately in the shop and I picked like gold for everything um, I'm sure you realize from my other plan with me's I typically use like gold just because um, I like how it looks it's more uniform um, with all the stickers that I do keep in my personal stash but anyways so building out the sidebar I did use one of the foiled full boxes there as well as two habit trackers this week I decided just to use two habit trackers rather than three I really only wanted to track um, self-care and um, PM routine um, I found um, a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. of like a little character like washing their face. So I wanted to use that. Um, so I had to switch them up a little bit and um, you'll see what I mean. Anyways, so um, I did ask in my previous video since it's been a while um, if you had any sticker shop questions and things like that. Um, so I thought I would answer one of them here. I did have somebody ask um, about the type of sticker paper that we offer and then where we purchase them from and things like that. Um, for most shops, this is a pretty personal question. When I was first starting out, I was pretty um, private in regards to which sticker paper we decide to use and go with. Um, but because there's so many shops out there and I know a lot of people are pickier when it comes to HEPA paper um, to try on new papers and stuff. So if they know what kind of paper you offer or from what place, then they're more likely um, to purchase because when you go from shop to shop, it's hard to know what kind of paper you have or what kind of paper it's offered. So it's sort of uniformed. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyways, so we do purchase our sticker paper from two different companies. Um, online, if you Google just like sticker paper, um, it will pop up right away. Um, there's a company called Online Labels and then a company called Sheet Labels. Um, we do purchase from both of the shops, um, depending on what we need. Um, so both of them, you'll see that there is like clear paper, which is what we use for our scripts. Um, we do use a laser printer. That's how we're able to foil our stickers. Um, and in regards to the other paper we have, we do have glossy paper, premium mat, as well as um, a removable mat. So depending on um, the type, you can check out which you like um, from each company. You can request samples and then um, see which one works with your printers. Um, for me, I think... We alternate between the two, so for different things, like clear sticker paper and our premium mat and our glossy, we purchase from online labels, but our removable mat, we purchase that from sheet labels. Um, so it just depends. Um, I like the feel of the paper from sheet labels more, and it does um, stick with gloss or our foil, too. Anyway, so back to Monday now after I asked, answered one of the questions. Um, I put on a, a little sticker and then one that said Peloton since I decided to start working out again. And then I had a little panda um, with the clear sticker um, script saying email. And then the bottom I had um, 
a half label with the word play date and then um, a cute little character from the copy monsters go there and last I have um, um, a half box with um, this little panda character and the word date night I'm actually going to be reformatting that sheet to make the sheet have the word date night in two different sizes like a larger size on top and a smaller size on bottom but if you like the size that they're at now I recommend picking them up but um, it's hard to see, but I picked light gold for all of the foil because that's what I have in my stash. Um, in the shop, you can pick from a bunch of different types of foils, or if you prefer just to have no foil, so then it's all clear, that's an option too. And then I put a little clear sticker script saying the word grateful for, and then I was just going to list things that happen throughout the week that I am grateful for. Um, let's see. I think there was another question, so let me go pull that up really quick. Um, so another question that I had um, that was recently asked was um, where um, we get I get pur I purchase most of my clip art from and papers and things like that. Um, so I'm sure a majority of people have searched through um, Etsy, which is one of the sites. Um, another website that I like um, is called creativemarket.com. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more out there. Um, you just find um, an artist that sells like photos um, and there's like even some that have a subscription service you can purchase um, and then Every month you can download a certain amount. Um, clip art and photos do add up in price. For a kit, it can vary, vary from maybe like fit probably like $20 to about $70 um, for all the items to make the kit with. Um, so it does definitely add up. Um, but I do like to release like four to five type of kits, like two being photos and three being clip art. Um, just because everybody can have some options when they pick. Um, but anyways, so I'm trying in a month to release like twice a month. So it comes out to like maybe eight to ten, you know, kits a month. So from those, you'll have a few that you like, hopefully. Um, and I try to keep them in the shop for as long as I can. Um, usually one to two months. Um, and then um, they'll be phased out. It's too difficult to keep too many like kits in the shop at one time. Um, but since we do have a majority of them already pre-made, um, except we just wait to foil them when the order comes in. So I, I'm sure you notice that, or have you, or if you've ordered, our turnaround time is pretty quick um, for foiled kits. It's usually one to f four business days just for me to package and like make sure all orders are correct, foiled items, things like that. Um, if there's a lot of orders, it can be up to 10 days, but majority of the time it's pretty quick. Um, but anyways, so if you can see here, um, on Tuesday um, in the morning I did a round for Peloton again and then um, went to a doctor's appointment and then um, went to get a car wash and used a script for those items. I did not have a script of doctor appointment, like the word doctor appointment out printed in my stash, so I added that on later. Um, I actually realized I didn't add it to the shop yet, so it's going to be up this Saturday. Um, so it's going to fit right next to little panda characters, so you'll see what that looks like. So I made one for like lash appointment, massage appointment, like manicure, pedicure, like all these things that I'm realizing I need scripts for. So I hope that helps someone else out too. Um, and most of the scripts in the shop um, are like a cursive, but I found this really cute um, like font that's more like similar to the Ray Dunn 
style that I'm going to be adding to the shop for a majority of the scripts. So um, like one is going to be labeled script A, one's going to be labeled script B. So you can just like in the shop, you can just type, you know, script B and then they'll all pop up. So that's going to be a slow transition since we like to keep everything in stock in the shop. Um, but yeah, if you have any specific phrases you want requested for, just leave a comment below so then I can make those and add them to this like upcoming week's release or future releases. I mean, this depends how much, um, how many requests. I do have a lot from last week already that have been requested that are already like designed that are going to go up this weekend. Um, but yes, there are a lot of scripts in the shop already all in clear paper um, for you just to add to your kits like how I do. I try not, I, I love writing in my planner, don't get me wrong, um, but sometimes when I do um, things over and over, um, it's nice to have one that's already like, you know, the script, I can just put it down very easily. Um, yeah. All right, so let's see what other questions I had. Um, so I had somebody ask about um, how I got into planning as well, since um, our shop has been around for about five years or a little bit, almost six years, I, something like that. Yeah, 2015, so it's been a while. Um, so I have always been into planners and stickers, things like that. And then I found the Erin Condren Planner and then went down the rabbit hole. There weren't that many shops actually back in the day, maybe like five or so that I, when I first opened. Um, so we were one of the first shops out there and we didn't really make kits at that time. It was all functional items, um, like squiggle headers and like icons, um, not too many scripts or anything. Um, mostly like half boxes and quarter boxes and flags and things like that. This is pretty different than how things are now. Um, so I did put um, a survey up in our Instagram stories and I did have people request like more functional items which we're going to be slowly adding to the shop. Um, they're going to be on bigger sheets on the removable matte paper. Um, so that way you can get more bang for your buck as well as um, easier to store and use the items. So um, yeah, so that's coming to the shop soon. Um, but the script stickers, I'm going to keep them on the clear paper, actually, just because it's easier to um, put them on anything. And then you can always cut them in half. If there's two words, like the word payday that I put down, you can cut it in half and stack them. It's pretty nice. Anyways, so I put down a bunch of work stickers, um, play date stickers, and cute little stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then our little panda sticker. Um... I marked to do Peloton on Saturday morning as well, which I don't know if it's going to happen or not, depending on how late we're up on Friday night. My daughter tends to stay up late um, when she knows it's the weekend, but um, I did put the word upload down there. Um, so I think uh, the sheet in the shop actually says like film, edit, upload, something like that. Um, so it's not all singles. It's all stuff put together since majority of people do it all together. But anyways, um, if you can see the word work is actually in a different font, um, I'm going to be label that, labeling that font C and separating the listing. It's actually just one listing in the shop and it has like, 20 words um, that have the dainty use script with the little like squiggles at the end that have been in the shop for a while actually. Um, so that way you can sort of see a little bit better. I've actually never used um, the bottom washi um, that comes with the date strips. Um, they're initially intended to use on the Aaron Condren, Condren vertical um, but since majority of people use like this sheet on the hourly. I'm going to be adjusting the length a little bit so it fits like perfectly. Um, it's just a tiny like a half like a one six centimeter a little short. I don't know. Anyways I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Same for the one on this side but um, the thickness is actually really nice. I didn't have to put any like 
wash like a white out down it actually went across the entire amount since I didn't need to do any like checklists and stuff this week um but yeah this is how the week turned out I really like it um and I hope you liked um this week's plan with me since I answered like some more questions and stuff rather than just talked about the kit um since I have some space, I did add the B6 full boxes, so you can sort of see how they look in the spread. Not like too heavy. Um, I left Friday and Saturday sort of open, um, and I'll probably add that stuff in later. But I didn't have the sheet of stickers that has like the little circle dots, so I'll probably find that one and then add the dots on the left hand side. Um, I'm probably going to make a sheet of just the dots on their own too, just so that, um, like of just foil, so then I can add it to any sheet. So that will be coming to the shop soon. But yeah, I hope you like this week's plan with me. These are the stickers I have left. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.